Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. It's Victory Monday. We got Matt Stafford down in the red zone, five ish yard line, tight red zone, tight ish red zone. We got a little F short post here. Now he ends up throwing it to the Y, makes a big boy move at the top of this route. But we're going to see this is how you kind of beat this type of coverage in bump formation here for the Lions. So what they do, we'll look at it when we get into all 22, is it's three on three over there. And usually you want three routes breaking in or three routes breaking out. And right here, we got three routes breaking in. Matt Stafford goes to the point guy right here, comes up, just debos this dude, right, get off me, right up on his face, beautiful accuracy, love it. We'll see it from the all 22. There's all sorts of little nuanced things going on. I don't think he actually throws it to the right guy. Doesn't matter though. Nice touchdown. This will be a fun one to break down. This is a play that people run all over the league. I'm excited. Welcome to the QB school. All right, so here we, the bunch guy who catches the touchdowns right at the point of the bunch. It's three on three over there. Defense versus offense. A little three on three hoops. Three in breaking routes. This is often how you'll beat this concept. I'll let it play one time. See how he hits it on this little short post in concept at the top of the screen. What's going on here concept wise? And this is something that's run at a lot of places. But what you want anytime you got this kind of bunch look down here in the, in the red zone. And they're going to play you three on three right here there's really two ways to play bunch you can either play three on three like this or you can play a box they call it where there'd be four guys over three and it's a little bit a little bit harder but you take away a little bit of the run threat or the run force on uh, defense so right here we got three on three this first guy he's the guy who ends up getting the touchdown he's running what should be basically like a, an in route it ends up being kind of a post because he gets jammed but it's a basically a deep in route the guy on the outside is running a shallow inside first. He's the first guy. So this is how it works. He's going to get jammed right here. He's running the post. The first guy to go right here across the field. It's basically a clear on the inside. Second guy, the point guy, he's coming through, hitting that post right here for the touchdown. And then the third guy, the guy that actually usually gets it, is going to be the third guy. He's going to go out and then in. So he's usually the guy who gets it right here, and I'd say that's probably where the throw should go regardless. Usually how it works is this is a clear, this is a clear, and then this guy comes right underneath it to pick it up right there. And so they're basically just sorting this out on defense. So this is man right here, straight up on the bunch. He's taking him no matter where he goes. And then these two guys on the outside right here, are they're just in and out in this. So when this first guy comes, he's going to go with this first guy and clear it out right there. Then it's going to put him, basically what it ends up coming down to is we got this guy versus this guy on a short post with that type of leverage. So you're going to run at him and then right underneath for an easy touchdown. So let's let it play out a handful of times. Watch how it plays out here just so we understand the concept. Down, down at the bottom of the screen, we just got to fade if you really love that route. But right here, we'll watch that point guy. He gets a touchdown. Get off me. He's running the first clear. The outside guy is running the inside shallow cross clear. And then we see that third post. This is the F short post. He's running that little post right there for the touchdown. And I'd argue that's probably where the ball should go. Now he might just flash on him because they end up because he gets jammed. It basically works into the same window. But that guy's job on the point who catches the touchdown is really to just clear that out. Got two clears and a little short post underneath it. And you can see how that touchdown would come right there. Boom. Right on him. Easy throw and catch. Now, Matt Stafford does a nice job being able to see this first one. But again, you're not going to get a whole lot of touchdowns throwing this ball to this guy. But I do love the ball location up high, up on his face, easy to catch, back line, high back five, really a nice job. So that's the concept, F short post. I'd say the ball probably doesn't go to the right guy right here. But again, he's open, throw it to him. Nice job. You're just playing with a little bit of fire. That guy in the middle of the field. So this guy come all the way back to understand exactly why you wouldn't get this throw. This guy right here, he's playing middle of the field. Now he's hedging this way for whatever reason, but his responsibility is all the way across the field right here. So if he's reading this eyes and now sure Matthew Stafford's looking this way first, but if for some reason he gets a beat on this, he's got a chance to make this play. I would say he doesn't cover as much ground as probably he should on this play, but we'll see. Watch him kind of track that back line. He's got a chance to come across. He comes shallow. If he goes just lateral, he might make a play or at least make a collision on that. Make that guy's ribs hurt. But again, you see, that's how tight windows down there in the red zone. But I love this concept, F short post. And this is what a lot of teams do. Go back one more time to the bunch. 
just to be able to understand why teams run these bunches so much. They're looking to get three in-breaking routes or three out-breaking routes, especially versus this cone man coverage when the defense is basically manning up the point and then in and outing the back end. So any three in-breaking routes or three out-breaking routes, you're usually going to get one winner right there. A nice touchdown. Victory Monday, that's how you do it. Then pass pro-wise, I'd say this is a loose bear front. Now they end up dropping what would be the end or the will. What I mean by that is loose bear meaning we got the core covered up here. So these guys all have a piece of the guard and the center. So this is a bear front right here. Now they end up, I think, only bringing Matthews and dropping off out here. But this is going to cause a lot of issues for a pass pro usually because you're going to get one-on-one -on -one blocks all the way across the board. One-on-one -on -one block, one-on-one -on -one block, one-on-one -on -one block, one-on-one -on -one block. You don't have a whole lot of time to throw. Doesn't matter in this tight red zone. Stafford's able to get it out of his hands. But if you're playing quarterback and you have any sort of bear front and you know you got six-man protection on right here with the back end, looks like he's checking and getting out, that you're going to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one blocks and you got to get the ball out of your hand quickly. Nice job by Stafford. Checking the fade. See if he likes it. No. Come back. See it in quick trigger. Really nice release. Up high. Love the accuracy of that ball up on his face in the high back line of the end zone. Really nice job. That's beautiful tight red zone execution. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Victory Monday, always fun to get that day off. Uh, please get engaged with the content. Let me know what you think. It's always more fun to do that. Also get over to the Patreon community. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.